Hi, I'm Mark Miller at Retirement Revised. I talked recently with John Nelson, the author of What Color Is Your Parachute for Retirement? John wrote the book with the assistance and blessing of Richard Bowles, author of What Color Is Your Parachute? The best-selling career guide book. John's finishing his Ph.D. in adult education at the University of Wisconsin, but his real focus is retirement education. He got interested in this during his years as a consultant to companies on employee-sponsored retirement plans. John's developed a valuable model for thinking about retirement planning called the Retirement Well-Being Model. I'm going to be playing more excerpts from my interview with John in the coming weeks. In this one, he talks about what the retirement industry doesn't want you to know. Hogwash. Yeah, so the idea of retirement hogwash. And, um, you know, the retirement industry is, is very broadly defined. People might think initially of that as being the financial services industry. And just like any industry, there are folks with white hats who are very honorable uh, business people and providing a valuable service and making money at it. And there are slimy sharks. Uh, and that's true for virtually every industry. And so the retirement industry encompasses the financial services industry, but also things like the burgeoning anti-aging industry as part of or not part of the health care delivery system, depending on how you look at that. Uh, it includes things like uh, travel and luxury goods. It certainly includes the growing uh, number of entities offering types of retirement housing, both uh, the old-fashioned kind of leisure-oriented Sun City approaches, as well as new ones that are close to universities and colleges, as well as ones that are plugged into urban centers. So those are adapting, but certainly that's a business as an industry that caters to boomers and, and older. So the retirement industry, when we think broadly, is both the financial service companies but it's also the entities selling us retirement-oriented housing. It's the entities selling us anti-aging or other kind of health consumables. And so, in general, the retirement industry are those commercial interests, some of which have the best of intentions, wear white hats, some of which are sharks. But it's the commercial entities who simply see people approaching retirement as a market, as consumers. And they want us to consume more of their stuff. So retirement hogwash isn't really about them lying to us. It's really about them wanting to sell us something that is not a good fit with our values. That some of their products and services might fit with one person's values and not another. So one person's hogwash is another person's uh, goal. What would be an example of that? So um, if we take uh, a specific financial services product, maybe something like an annuity, an income annuity, which is a structured uh, structured product for receiving monthly retirement income for as long as you live. And so for one person that may live a very long time, they're not acquainted with how to manage their investments, that they in fact um, maybe are investment phobic and very security oriented, that rolling a significant part of their retirement funds into an annuity could in fact be a fantastic thing for them to do and accomplish their objectives. Another person who has the interest, the desire, or ability to learn how to manage their money, to learn how to start drawing down their account balances in an orderly, predictable way, and so on, and to manage that on their own might not be served by that annuity. And the challenge is that the marketing of the annuity does not really take those personal differences into account. It's going to stress the universal advantages of the annuity. And so for the first person for whom it's a good fit, it's, a, it's really a good solution. For the second person who really could learn how to handle their own finances better, uh, it's hogwash. But the marketing isn't going to take that into consideration. Uh, so you could go through and look at, at different health approaches or especially retirement-oriented communities. And so hogwash is not so much a universal untruth as much as it is a misalignment with your personal values. And so